Technical Veterinary Learning TVL Channel Founded and produced by Professor Ahmed Mamdouh El Sharif, Professor of Epidemiology and Infectious Diseases of Animals, the ex head of the Department of Veterinary Medicine, the ex vice dean of Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Banisweef University. Management of diseases outbreaks in livestock farms. Viral diseases of camels. Pestis tibetit rumuni disease, PPR in camels. Pestis tibetit rumuni is a highly contagious disease of sheep and goats, which has recently re-emerged and is now founded widely distributed through large parts of Africa, Middle East and Asia. This disease is one of the most economically important transboundary animal diseases as it causes death of a small ruminants that are highly dependent on by poor people in developing countries. PPR is characterized by severe pyrexia, anorexia, ulcerative necrotic stomatitis, diarrhea, purulent oconasal discharge and respiratory distress. This disease is mainly of a small ruminants. However, reports describing the infection in camels are continuously being published from different production zones. Epidemiology of the disease In the following figure, we will discuss the geographical distribution of PPR throughout the world. The first documented outbreak of PPR in camels reported from Ethiopia in 1996 consisted of a highly contagious respiratory syndrome with elevated morbidity and low mortality rates. In this figure, the countries reported has outbreaks of camel PPR take red colors. They are Sudan, Ethiopia, Iran, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Consecutive outbreaks of a similar disease occurred in eastern of Sudan in 2004 and later in Somalia and Kenya. Most recently, PPR outbreaks have been reported in Iran in 2013 and in 2016 in Kenya. Furthermore, virus antigens were detected in camels in Pakistan. The most critical elements in the infection of dromedary camels with PPR are virus shedding and the transmissibility from the typical horses, sheep and goats. PPR virus shedding and transmissibility to camels from the typical horses, sheep and goats in rearing areas like in this figure. Morbidity and mortality rates. Morbidity rate ranged between 90 to 93 percent in most outbreaks reported in Ethiopia at 1995 up to 1996. Sudan, 2004, Iran, 2013, and Kenya at 2016. The mortality rate in outbreaks reported in Ethiopia, 1995 up to 1996, reached to 70%, while in Sudan, Outbreaks that occur at 2004 reach to 50%, and in Iran, outbreak that reported at 2013 it reached to 40%. An epidemiological feature of some PPR outbreaks in camels is 
that a significant number of dead animals were females recently delivered within month period followed by pregnant females. Sources of infection Source of infection could be tears, nasal discharge, cough secretions, and all secretions and excretions of sick and incubating animals. Modes of transmission PPR spreads mostly by aerosols or direct contact between animals and vomits may be the means of spreading of infection. Pathogenic risk factor The disease is caused by Pestis dipetitrumoni virus, which belongs to the genus Morbelli virus of the family Paramyxoviridae of viruses from Asia. PPR virus is a non-segmented negative stranded RNA virus closely related to the render pest virus of cattle and buffaloes, the measles virus of humans, the distemper virus of dogs, and some wild carnivores, and the morbelli virus of aquatic mammals. PPR virus exists as a single serotype. However, genetic characterization of the virus strains has allowed them to be characterized into four groups, lineages 1 up to lineages 4, three from Africa and one from Asia. This figure illustrates the genomic structure of PPR virus, where N protein or nucleocapsid protein and then the key protein or phosphoprotein and L protein and the large protein and M protein or the matrix protein and F protein or the fusion protein. So we have seven proteins ranged from 1688 base pair up to 6639 base pair. However, experimental infection of camels with PPR virus failed to produce clinical disease except in one single study. This may point to different predisposing factors that govern infection in the field and the biological properties of the circulating PPR virus strain. Stress conditions in the field, like seasonal movement, in search for green pasture coinciding with severe PPR in the commingling sheep flux, could contribute the appearance of the disease in camels. Molecular pathogenesis of PPR PPR virus has an affinity for lymphoid tissues and epithelial tissue of the respiratory and gastrointestinal tract where it produces characteristic lesions. Molecular pathogenesis of PPR virus the first step is the attachment to the cell wall by fusion protein. Then, in budding of the virus into the cell itself. The third action is the antigenome RNA make replicate by using the nucleus of the cell. By this replication and transcriptation, 
the virus particles will be assembly then padding through the cell wall of the host cell after making progeny of virus particle this repeated several times as we said in lymph tissue and respiratory epithelial cells for more understanding the molecular pathogenesis of PPR virus we seen here in this figure the binding of the proteins by fusion protein then the viral particle will enter in the host cell by uncoating and entry process where the genomic RNA of the virus will be released and governing the nucleus of the host cell by several replication and formation of soluble protein virus the process done more and more until synthesis of hemagglutinin and fusion glycoproteins in the host cell and complete formation of the viral particle then passage of heme agglutinin fusion and matrix protein through secretory pathway through the process of budding and release new progeny of the viruses this replication occur in the tissue of lymph node gastrointestinal tract epithelia and respiratory epithelia so the pathogenesis of the virus done through main object the governing of the nucleus of the host cell this process will lead to the occurrence of the clinical picture of the virus clinical picture of ppr in camels the incubation period of ppr virus is typically four to six days but it may range from three to ten days before appearance of the typical clinical picture disease severity depends on various factors number one ppr virus strains number two host spaces number three the breeds of camels number four the health status of host animals camels of all ages have the ability for the infection with ppr virus PPR disease in camels and the small ruminant is more frequent during the rainy season or the dry cold season and seasonal periods of increased local movement and trades. The clinical and epidemiological picture of PPR disease and confirmed outbreaks in northern East Africa are not consistent. Early outbreaks at 1992 and 1996 showed an acute respiratory disease with low mortality. A pair acute disease characterized by sudden death, abortion, and diarrhea with a high mortality rate occurred in the region during 2004 up to 2007. In the outbreak of PPR that reported in Sudan in 2006, the disease was characterized by sudden death of apparently healthy animal. Then, yellowish and later bloody diarrhea with a portion had been detected. Death has been almost sudden 
and proceeded with colic and difficulty in respiration. Carcasses of camels dead from PPR disease scattered in northern of Putana in Sudan at 2004. A case of PPR of a male calf showing emaciation and diarrhea in Mandaria area in Kenya. Post mortem examination. At post mortem examination, the main findings include lung congestion and consolidation, mostly in the apical loops, paleness and fragility of the liver. Pneumonic lung of young camel experimentally inoculated with PPR virus. During post-mortem examination, we noted that lymph nodes were enlarged and inflamed and the small intestine and the stomach showed inflammation and hemorrhages as being described in the following figures. Inflammation and hemorrhages in the small intestine of a camel dead from PPR. Hemorrhages and inflammation appear more clear by opening a part of intestine from a camel dead due to PPR disease. In a single case of camel, the lips were found swollen and the hemorrhagic ulcers were seen on the top of the tongue. The histopathological examination showed that prebronchial infiltration with monocrear cells, while inside the bronchioles there is degeneration and denudiation have been noted. Alveolar septa were congested and infiltrated by monocular cells and in some areas the lung revealed edema and emphysema. The prominent histopathological changes were atopic lymphoid follicles. Laboratory diagnosis. Samples collection for laboratory diagnosis of PPR disease are the followings. Number one, in the live animals, nasal swabs and whole blood are collected in edita, preferably collected in early stages of the disease. Samples collected from the camels are spleen, lung, and lymph nodes should be aseptically collected, shelled on ice, and transported under refrigeration for isolation of the virus. The laboratory tests used are the followings. Number one, antigen capture ELISA, which available as a commercial the reverse transcriptase PCR or RT-PCR using pan morpelli virus primers and PPR specific primers were used for detection of PPR V infection and differentiate between render pest and PPR viruses where positive result give that positive bands at 351 base pair as in the following figure. Positive results by RT-PCR at 351 base pair on agarose gel, agar gel diffusion test, and fluorescent antibody technique. Figure number 11 showed positive results by fluorescent antibody technique where the viral particles take green particles. Virus isolation on cell culture where cytopathic effect could be detected. Cytopathic results due to isolation of the virus on tissue culture. Abdel Malik Khalifa and Mansour Hussein at the book of Infectious Diseases of Domesticated Animal 
collect the feature of PPR outbreaks in camels in four countries Ethiopia 1995 up to 1996, Sudan 2004, Iran 2013s, and in Kenya 2016s. Where the collective clinical symptoms are sudden onset of fever, sudden disease, dyspnea, oral erosion, yellowish diarrhea, pneumonitis, respiratory distress, enlargement of lymph node, dehydration, ulcerative keratoconjunctivitis. Oculo nasal surcharge, yellowish and bloody diarrhea, with a swelling of submandibular area. Morbidity ranged between 90 up to 93 percent. Mortality ranged between 5 up to 70 percent. All group ages from camels are affected. Laboratory diagnosed in the four countries. Range between ELISA, RT-PCR, and sequencing. The viral lineage particles of PPR range between 2 and 3 lineage in Ethiopia, lineage number 4 in Sudan and Iran, and lineage number 3 in Kenya. Differential Diagnosis PPR disease have to be differentiated from pastoral losses, contagious eczema, and mineral poisoning. Zoonotic potentiality. PPR is not a zoonotic disease. Treatment. There is no specific treatment for PPR disease. However, supportive antibiotic treatment of bacterial co-infections may be decrease the mortality rate. In previous outbreaks of PPR disease in camels in Sudan, at 2004, the use of PPR vaccine for sheep and goats gave good results and stopped the spread of the disease. OIE and FAO in their joint strategy for control and eradication of PPR disease have set the goal of eradication the disease by 2013 all over the world. The role played by the non-typical horses such as camels should be considered. Several homologous PPR vaccines are available. Being cell culture attenuated strains of natural PPR viruses. Notification PPR is an OIE notifiable disease to all veterinary authorities. We keep on the track for clarify and discuss all the newest knowledge about the infectious diseases and epidemiology of them. So please subscribe the channel to reach to that. We keeping you on the right track. So please subscribe the channel to reach to the most newest knowledge about the epidemiology and different infectious diseases of different species of animals. See you later.